How's it going, guys? Welcome back. Seven Days to Die. We're on Alpha 19.3. My name is Matt. You're watching Vile Dragons Gaming Channel, and this is not my All That's Left series where I play as a guy who barely survives the wasteland, apparently. And, uh, yeah, it's day 46. We're on insane difficulty. Zombies run always. Um, there's a steel thing up there. I never noticed that before. Huh. Those have, like, a good amount of steel, too. Anyway, uh, I'm going to take a few minutes, show you guys the base, show you what I've been doing, because there is a lot, and uh, I've just got stuff going. Again, a bunch of cement going, a bunch of sand, so we can make more cement. Made some ammo. I'm a little low on that, but we're going to keep making it. 762, like crazy. And over here, we're, we got some stone turning into cement which is always required. Uh, in fact, we're just going to keep this going for a long time. Got enough stone there? Yeah, I think that's enough stone. Over here, we have a lot of food making and 38 uh, of these uh, mining coffees. I can't remember what they're called. And we have some pumpkin cheesecake, which is actually for bartering, but it does give you 42 food, so it's pretty good. It's worth it, and it really just takes pumpkin and grain alcohol and egg. So, not too bad, and I've been hungry. I'm just going to eat one right now. Okay, over here in the chem bench, of course, we're making... Yeah, okay, this needs more time, too. Not that much more time. But gunpowder, always got to be making gunpowder. Okay, that should be long enough. Okay, so that's everything up here. We got kind of a spot over there where we could make something else. But down here, uh, I actually need to get this forge going and keep putting iron and clay in there, mostly iron. But this is the one that's going to have our crucible one day when we finally find it. And over here, what do we have? Our brass stuff. Okay, we should probably just keep this going. And we'll just put a few of these in there. Made some med kits, made some glue. I just need to go through and put everything away, and then we're going to hit the road. So, see ya on the road. Okay, real quick before we go, I'm just going to show you guys all the boxes. Got everything put away here. That way I kind of have it documented in time of where it was at this point. Uh, we need coal. Okay, we can get this one going. Alright, well that's pretty much it. Uh, see you guys on the road for real. Okay, one more thing. The AK. I switched to it. I think it's the better gun. It has more damage. And I pretty much scrapped all the low-level gear. So we're only rocking level 6 stuff. I guess I still got some level 5s here. But as you can see, uh, we're not messing around. Okay, uh, I guess I got it on me. Got ammo. I feel like I'm forgetting something. It was the money. We were forgetting the money. Okay, four slots. That's good. Let's go. Alright, well, I was looking around trying to find out what to raid and just doing a lot of general staring at the map. And I'm not really sure. I don't see anything that looks super big and good. I've already raided most of the stuff around here. But there's little scattered pieces, like this whole lot. Yeah, you know what? I brought the hackers. Let's just take apart this entire lot. And we'll just break in right here and get to work. Oh. But first, I'm going to clear it. Just make sure there's no one up in here. And, okay. Thought I had been here before, maybe, but uh, I guess not. Anyway, yeah, let's take all these apart. We're going to take these hackers. Switch to the impact driver and get to, get to crunching some cars. Inventory before. And we're on to the last car here. Inventory after. Use that. Well, we got a few decent things. One battery, a lot of mechanical parts, some electrical parts, some oil. Just kind of taking stock of what we actually get out of these cars. I guess the big thing is springs, mechanical parts. 
and the other little things. Now, I really need to steal. Um, like, honestly, I just need to find a crucible. Yes, but is it worth it to take a steal? Okay, I'm going to skip it. I'm making the decision to not manually harvest steel. We just need to go get a crucible, ultimately. So, since I took the hackers, I'm going to stop by about every car. Uh, no, I won't. No, I won't. screw it. Okay, have we looted this passing gas? Yes, we have. What haven't I looted? Have I looted this building across the street? I don't think I have. Yeah, this looks fresh. Okay, let's hit this one. This will be the one for the start. Let's have a good look from up here. Take apart this car. Delicious. Okay, this is a pretty big building. I don't think it's a remnant either. Okay, first of all, let's get the bike right out here on the road so we can find it right by the mailbox. Is good. And I think we're just going to leave everything here. Don't need any of this. You know, actually, I'm even going to do this. I'm going to put that right there. Just take up these first four slots and save them. Lock them. There we go. All right, let's get in here. Well, that's not a very welcoming little foyer you got there. It's just a big pit in the ground. I don't know. What, we just go through right here? Break into the kitchen. Yeah, this is uh, one way to make an entrance, huh? Just break through the window, get assaulted. These guys have a lot of hit points. My goodness. Okay, I didn't bring a ton of ammo, so we need to be a little bit careful. Salute this sink and smash the sink. Got someone right here. He was breaking the coffee maker. That's that's kind of rude, you know? You don't break a coffee maker, especially a perfectly fine function one that might have some old coffee in it. All right, looks like there is going to be some food in here. Now, is it worth the time for me to be fiddling around with every little cabinet when all I really need is a crucible? That's like a question I really need to ask myself. Because I spent so much time screwing around with little goofy... Oh god, look what we got here. Okay, I have a feeling we're going to be in for it. There is some uh, bookshelves over there, so that's definitely somewhere we want to be. These are all ferals. That took a lot of bullets. Okay, let's go ahead and get through here. Okay, that does fall into a whole nother area. This is a pretty big place. We might be here a while, guys. Okay, let's go for the big loot. Let's not spend all day here. Alright, you're going to see my speed loot style. Ooh, bracing mod. And my speed loot, uh, you know, it's not going to be that fast, but the point is, uh, yeah, we're just going to skip a lot of the little stuff. Not one shot in these guys like I was kind of hoping I would be. Anyone behind you? No? Okay. It's like a perfect hiding spot. You see, we didn't need to loot that. I'm sure we got some ravioli, and ravioli's nice. Okay, now we're over here. So this is probably the way I was supposed to go in. Yeah. Sports bag. Is it worth it? We did get some vitamins, which we can take. Might as well while we're raiding. Alright, alright. Anything of use back here? No. Okay. We are finding actually really good loot in all the things we are looting, so it's hard for me to just say it's a bad idea, although I don't care about 25 gunpowder right now.
Okay, well, let's get upstairs. Oh, we could also hit the basement. I don't know, I kind of like the idea of going into the basement. Uh, it's going to be scary. I got some ammo. Got the sledge ready. Got a little bit of meds ready. Okay, let's just do it. Oh, I was expecting a giant wake up. All right, well, let's take a peek around these corners. Uh, okay, we got some fire boys. Some fire zombies. Okay, just double check. We're all clear behind us before we let the dogs out. The fire dogs. One of the fire dogs is stuck. Yep, just cop you in the, the burning wiener. That's right. No shame. I suppose we keep taking this. Our base is going to need some upgrades. But I'm not really that worried about it. We got a whole system already downstairs. Uh, downstairs, what am I saying? And our base that will pretty much make everything already. So, honestly, we don't need to worry about it that much. Hey, you. Little guy on the ground. I missed you. And now I got you. All right. Yeah, this looks pretty suspect. Okay, nothing though. Just some cabinets. Can these have armor? These have a chance of good armor. If they do, they're worth looting. If they don't, not so much. What do we got here? Uh, that was nothing really worthwhile. Okay, here we go. We got some zombies. Suppose we can go ahead and take them out. Oh, I knew she wasn't going down in one hit. Big Mama's no joke. Oh, she's feral too. Well, she was a joke this time. Some armor, not as good as my current armor. No, I'm not taking all this random little stuff that's not very useful. You know, I thought the main loot would be like upstairs, but I'm starting to think maybe it's down here. There's quite a bit going on. A little secret moldy backpack. But what I think this is, is just the entryway. So you're supposed to like drop down here, run through the basement. Okay, I see. Uh, interesting design. I love how these are like set up like dungeons. It's really cool. It's a, it's a nice touch. Is there anything in that? Nope. Okay. And we would go upstairs. So now we're kind of starting the natural path. Which admittedly is a bit awkward. I'm always going to check purses because there's a pretty high chance of a nice stash of ammo. No safe, no problem. Okay, we'll go this way. Go the intended path. Around here, up here, and we're back on track. We should start seeing some baddies again. There we go. Moly backpack. Oh, primitive, crappy bow. Now, who is awake? Someone's awake, They're making lots of noise. Just don't know where they are. Looks like we're supposed to go out here on the roof. Bite some birds. Jesus. Okay, let's try not panicking. It's always a bad start. There's another bird up there. There we go. That's how it's done. And another military zombie. There's a lot of military zombies here. Man, he's feral. Gotcha in the noggin. Oh my. Look at the tankiness on this boy. Wow. That took a lot of swings. Or hiding a cardboard box with some shotgun shells. Okay. Over to the other side of this. There is a thing here. There's a thing here. 
guess we're going to go ahead and have a coffee, and we might as well have the Meow Chow as well. Nice little chunk of croissant. We don't need that. We just don't need it right now. There's still someone down there beating away at something. I don't know where he is. Got some little hidden areas here, though. Now, here we go. Come on, ammo. Looking for that 762. No, no one. Figured there would be someone. Looks like we do have a bit of an area over here. Oh, crack a book. Very nice. Don't mind if I do. Lucky looter that we already have. Sports bag. I hear someone walking, I'm pretty sure. And there's the way up. Okay, let's. Okay, we already checked that. Let's just check in here real quick. Just a bathroom. Never know, though. Check the medicine cabinet. Ooh, some pills. We might actually need those. I didn't bring any. We haven't started a murky stack, so we're not going to start a murky stack. Yeah, and we don't want just a couple one-offs of things. We can just toss those out. All right, and up the stairs we go. Let's continue on the journey. Okay. Uh, this looks suspect. Yep, it is. It's that one. Thought I remembered that. Played this game more than a time or two. Sometimes you see a scene and it all comes back like, Oh, I almost died here once. Uh, speaking of... And there's ferals. There's more. This isn't... Oh, God. That's right. Oh no, I've helped him. I'm out of ammo. This is what I was warming up for on the last episode when I decided I was going to fight everything in that one building. You know, you just got to mentally prepare yourself for these kinds of situations so you don't panic. Yeah, take that. Okay, found these. We're going to use those right away, along with some water. I did kind of panic. But hey, we're fine. I was watching the health bar. It wasn't that close, but it was scary. And we're out of ammo. Oh, okay, well, it's not over. You know, if they ask any questions, we'll just say you fell down the stairs and broke your head. Okay, well, that was, uh, that was a lot of zombies. I did have a little flashback there, but it was like, not that kind of flashback. That was a lot. Ooh, giggity. Truck chassis schematic. Very good. Now, let's just take a look here. What do we have of that? We have... Well, we just need the accessories. Although, I'm not real keen on the truck. Here we go. Find more lead and loot. Jump over there. Okay, that's... We've already been down there. Let's check this room out. Everything should be clear over here at this point. Pretty sure a whole swath of them came out of these couple rooms. And we're back on track. Wow, this is cool. There's just like a big hole right through the floors. I wonder what happened. Okay, all right. Oh man, I wish I had more ammo. Oh, there's ferals again. Let's just take it out. Close that. Nope, kitten. Leg is sprained. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, get your energy back. Get your energy back. And you. They are so tanky. Alright, I can't do this anymore. I think I need to get out. Look, not having ammo is a real problem. I actually really need ammo. Let's eat the beef. The sprain is a problem. I can't move quickly anymore. Alright, we're getting out of here. We're not going to risk it any further. I'm getting my butt kicked. 
You know, in reality, more than anything, it's because I don't have any ammo. Alright, we can pop out over here. Where's our bike? It's right over there. Alright, we are safe. For now. I just need a splint. If I had a splint, I'd be okay with continuing. We don't have any duct tape. Yeah, we haven't found a bit of duct tape, which is actually unlikely, you know? Maybe we should just go mine. Oh, we're so close, though. We're so close. I just need ammo. I should have brought more ammo. I thought what I had would be enough. It wasn't. We blew through it so quickly. I don't need that. That's just lead. All right. All right. We're going to get back in here. We're just going to play it smart. No, we're not. No, we're not. I'm going to die. It's going to be the death of me, but we are coming back. We're not just going to abandon this place. Uh, I just need to find some duct tape. And some ammo would be, you know, fine and dandy, too. Thing in here. It's like nothing. This place is just tapped. Oh, we got a hidden thing? No. There are some lights around, like something's going on. It's just... Okay, no other bag. Vitamins? I don't know if vitamins are actually going to help me. I think I already got some going, actually. Supposed to go here, here, okay. Not sure if you're supposed to do anything in this particular POI. I was hoping to just find a kitchen. Well, sometimes the next best thing is a bathroom. Uh, trying to trick me. Uh, but no such luck here. All we found was some old toilet water. Can keep going up. Is there something at the very top? Looks like we're supposed to go up here. Uh, just a bag. Come on, ammo. Alright, well, I'm going to probably go back home and grab some stuff and then come back. It shouldn't take too long. But not before we check this last bag. Oh, just military parts. Alright, home really is not too far away for us. It's just a quick jive down the road. And we can go unload everything. Nice. Uh, we do want to keep some stuff, though. Let's use that. Let's uh, maybe grab a few of these. Throw that in there. Um, what else do we need? Let's take some actual ammo. Let's not get destroyed. And I could use some more food at this point. Just some half-decent food. That's 50. Is that uh, too much? I don't know. It might be. Maybe just some meow chow and some pears. All right, we'll get back over there and we're going to go have some fun. All right, we're back. She's just at the edge of town. Base is right there. It's just like a block over. So this is uh, not too far. Surprised I haven't destroyed it before. Okay, let's go ahead and just knock this tree down. No particular reason why other than... Uh, I could always use more wood, and it's kind of in the way. Alright, so let's get back in here, let's uh, pick up where we left off, and try not to die. I do have plenty of ammo now. I went ahead and grabbed 300. Okay, don't waste your time searching for dumb stuff. We'll just take the shortcuts, and here we are. This is where all the fun happened. Uh, I did bring some additional stuff. I brought some fort bites in case we encounter another big battle. It's going to come in handy. I guess we might as well take this part while we're here. Least of... There's more. There's more. Oh, no! You broke the bookshelf. The bookshelf. You... The hit points on this sucker... All right, let's do this. Oh, 
I'm I'm a little terrified. All right, this is this has been some intense raiding. All right, it's questionable whether I'm going to survive. Do I take the springs? No, I don't care. I don't care right now. I can always get more springs at a later time, but we will take some of this other stuff. And what's hidden back here? Nothing. Yeah, I guess I'll take this. All right, I just found some tough guy sunglasses, and I decided I would just wear them instead for right now. Because I could use any little boost of fortitude, a little boost of toughness, because I'm getting slapped around by these zombies so much. And I'm not exactly full health anymore. Let's just go like this. Uh, I have another slot down here that I'm not even using. I guess I could just put the pills in it. Yeah, that'll be fine. Those are often an emergency use. Okay, I think we've cleared this floor. We'll just get this last one of these. There we go. Alright, let's go up here. Okay. I, okay. Oh, oh my goodness. Thing's about to get hairy again. Alright, we're going to do an age-old trick. But we don't have a way to upgrade that. Alright, let's do this. Just keep knocking them down. Close that for a second. I'm just going to let my stamina regen. Knock them all down. Oh, the door's done now. I hear someone knocking around something. I heard some, like, steel falling. Well, really did its, uh, did its trick there. Maybe I should actually be quiet, you know? I don't want to wake him up too soon. Stealthy heavy armor guy. I'll take all this while I'm here. Why not? Oh, purse. Give me some 762. Nope, nothing. Some 762 is always what I want to find. Oh, I see something. Uh, yeah. That is a big boy. That's... Okay, there's someone down here, too. What else is going on? Okay, I just don't want to get snuck up on... Okay. Big boy. It's pretty fast, too. Okay, not too bad. I think we might have made it to the final loot room. Let's just clear it out. Clear? Yeah, we're clear. All right, we're going to loot all this and check the final loot. Okay, here we are at the final loot. Just turn the light on. There's a bookshelf. Nice. Nothing new. Cabinet. Nothing. Working stiffs. Oh, uh, also, let's put on these and let's use the eye candy. We might as well. All right, working stiffs. A level one auger. We'll just... Scrap it. We already got a good auger. Ooh, some ammo. Always take ammo. Uh, better auto shoddy. Okay. Um, I guess we hold on to that. Scrap that. Scrap that. Don't want the one pocket mod really at all. Just gonna leave it. And nothing good here really either. Not. Don't really want those steel knuckle parts at all. Okay. Oh, we got a couple nice shovels. Some iron. Iron. We're just gonna scrap them all down. I guess I shouldn't be scrapping that, but the little pieces of brass might as well scrap down. Is that everything? Is there a secret I missed somewhere? I kind of hope so, because that felt a little lackluster for what we had to go through. Didn't really get any upgrades. Maybe this purse will make it all worth it. Nope. Not even close. Okay, so what's the fastest way down? Do we just jump down here? Looks like it. And maybe down here. Yep. Alright, we're going to get out of here. And I guess we'll go find something else to loot. Hopefully get a crucible. I need to find like a working stiffs building. That would be the dream. So I'm going to do a little hunt around for a working stiffs, I think. 
All right, on the way out, I came across this little back side room that I didn't notice before. That has a chem station and bio garbage, but it has the duct tape we need. All right. Okay, let's check this chem station. Some gunpowder. Don't care about the cotton. Uh, nothing else really in here. So this was like a little side place that I just totally missed. All right, I'll just bust this door down, get on out of here. Anything on the outside, just a grill with some not so delicious food. All right, well, not too shabby. We'll just take stock of our loot over here real quick and then we'll uh, move on. Not too bad, I'm gonna keep those on me. Everything else though, eh, that's fine. Now it is true that I do need to go mine, but you know, coal and iron's right there. We could do a quick loot of these. Maybe we'll get lucky, get a chest with a crucible. Let's go find out. I'm just driving by seeing this barn. I don't know. I'm, okay, I should take this corn too while I'm at it. Do need the corn. And what do we got over here? Is this blueberry? I don't think I really need blueberry, to be honest. Iron desk. What do we got up there? Is it a tool crate? It is, but it is unlootable. Yeah. I was going to say, if it was a lootable one, I'd be on it. Chance of Crucible? Sign me up. What do we got over here? Nothing? I want to just check this little destroy POI. Maybe it's got something in it. It does have something in it. Can confirm. That that's the one you want. We could probably kill the snake. Yep, got him. Apparently we can kill him too. Wasn't even trying to hit him, I was just trying to hit the block. Alright, this does have a little upstairs. Let's just uh, go through this real quick, see if there's anything worthwhile. Uh, we should actually take all this hay bales too for the fiber for making plant things. So yeah, I'm just going to harvest this whole area. Oh, lo and behold, there is a secret box right here. Let's check this out. Oh, it's just a toilet. That's not a secret box. You let me down. Alright, well, we're going to continue all this goodness. All right, up the ladder, and we did find a shotgun messiah box, so let's check this out. Just some rifle parts, don't care. Come on, cooler. Some coffees. All right, well, it was worth it. I think a shotgun messiah has the chance. It's always worth if it has the chance. But that's it for that little farmhouse, and let's just uh, get moving. There's a big one here. Have I cleared this? I honestly don't. Remember, I'm just going to put this here. Place? There you go. Have I been in here? I don't think I have. Okay, use that one. Let's check this. It's empty and destroyed. Empty, empty. Yeah, I have been in here. Okay, well, no worries. Now we got a frame down to mark it. Uh, let's see what we got back here. Bunch of corn. Uh, a lot of corn. Why we're stacking corn, let's just go ahead and get a bit more. Uh, I can turn this into seeds, so that means I can plant more. I just need to find potatoes now, too. A little potato field would be the dream. Uh, hopefully this will be the last time I have to harvest corn, because I think I'll have enough planted after this. Alright, I'm starting to wake them up. I didn't really want to do that. Let's take a look at this field over here. That's a lot of corn. Uh, that is a ton of corn. I don't need any more corn, though. I think I got about enough. I could get a little bit more, but not going to worry about it. Let's just head on over to the mining spot. Oh, and we got some decent little houses over here. Uh, yeah, I was running through and looting all this. Did I loot all of these, though? I looted this one. I don't think I have. Let's, let's just take a quick peek inside, see if we uh, have looted stuff or unlooted stuff. Unsearched. Searched. Untouched. Okay. So I guess we just forgot a few things. 
Yeah, I was in here. I remember being in here. Okay, let's get out of here. Apparently, I didn't frame this one. Okay, so yeah, that's this nice little outskirt town. I don't know. It's a, it's a cool little town. It's cool how it lined up being the outskirts of the bigger city. It's an old shanty town. All right, we do have some coal and iron in here. We could use both. Ah, uh, yes, the hole. Never forget the collapse. The great collapse. Uh, and we're going to just go in here real quick. Check this all out. No, no, no. Okay, we just want to see if there's the good stuff. Oh, just you two. Tough zombies. All right, untouched. Ranger. Craft flaming arrows and bolts. Cool. Ah, uh, yeah. There's a weapons bag in here. This could be a good get. Not too bad, but not too great either. I'm not even going to take these muffled connectors. I have so many back at home. We just want the crucible. Can it be in here? I guess it's worth a look. Always plow through the kitchen. Might end up with some jars to throw out, but other than that, it's fine. Get some random food goods too, which is always nice. And I guess that's it for in here. Trash piles out here. You never know. Trash piles, come on. Give me the crucible, Mr. Trash Pile. I'll never complain again. Yeah, definitely throwing out a lot of this stuff. Oh, we got him coming out of the woodwork, or just one. Okay. Nice, perfect lineup and swing. Home run. Alright, it's. I feel like the game is teasing us at this point. Had to get the axe hit in there. All right, what are you hiding in here? I'm just gonna take it all, sort it out later. So far, nothing. Just a bunch of random jars and stuff. Taking an eggs recipe. Already have it though. Ooh, weapons bag. Hidden up underneath the sink. Alright, well. No luck on that bag, though. Nothing, 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 nothing. And we got a bookshelf, okay. Nothing, nothing. Well. Okay, we searched those. There's a whole bunch over there, too. But yeah, let's just plot these down. I could rate a few more, but uh, I think we're just going to pop on down in here. Okay, I want to make sure I'm facing south with the bike. Here we go. Probably keep the bike like way over here. Or I don't know. I just want to keep it away from the hole. I don't want to risk another collapse on my bike, you know? That would be bad. Okay. I'm going to break some stuff around here, get down in the hole, do a bunch of mining, and I'll check back with you guys shortly. Alright, here we go. Let's get to mining. Got all the coffee in me, got the rock busters. I found a little trick with the, the coffee that I'll show you later. Oh my goodness. Okay, I was mining away and this guy just popped up behind me. Alright, whoo. That was uh, a little scary. Okay, so the trick with the coffee is the buff stacks, but uh, the black strap and the coffee are the same buff. You can't have both at once. 
So if you drink regular coffees, it increases the timer. Then you drink the blackstrap coffee last, and you get a blackstrap buff increased by the regular coffee timer. So basically turns into whatever one you last drink. And if you want the blackstrap one, you just drink it last. So that's the trick. Hopefully no more zombies come in at me. I'm just going to keep mining away. All right, it's about time to get out of here. We've just been mining away. Got a good mix of all the good stuff. Okay, let's get up here. Got a good mix of coal, iron, and stone. So that's pretty nice. All right, so uh, out of here we go. Yeah, let's just see the hall. Oh, only about 3,000. That's, uh, that's good enough. That's good enough. We can make quite a bit of stuff out of that. We're going to head back to the base at this point, though. Because it's night, and it's uh, it's pretty scary out. Still not super familiar with the road, so I kind of just take a beeline through the wasteland, which I know isn't the greatest idea. Oh my god. You gotta do it, potatoes, at a time like this. Yes, I'll take them. I'll take them, game. You just know I was looking for them. Alright. There we go. Got the potatoes. Decent. Fine. Just go through the farmland and find potatoes. Okay, here we go. Now we're on the easy path. We can just take a left and then a right, and then we're pretty much home. Here we are. A few zombies lumbering around. Guess I'll have to take care of them. Okay. More than just a few, I suppose. Let's go up here. Uh, it appears we've come across some kind of wandering horde. And boy, are they kind of tough. They have determined that there is a way up my base, and uh, apparently it's somewhere around here. Come on, guys. Get you with a headshot. No. Yes. Okay. Coming to help your friend? Looked like he was trying to pick him up over there. All right. Well. Nothing left to do but finish the job. Looks like they want to take down this pillar. Good to know. Is that it? Now that's it. All right. Well, that makes that made uh, coming home a little bit interesting. Maybe I should put some more protection up. Uh, that's kind of what I'm thinking at this point. All right. Well, there's nothing left to do here for the night except put everything away, get some things crafting and come back on the next day. So thank you guys so much for watching. Sure do appreciate every single one of you. It does mean a lot to me. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. See if we can survive yet another day of hunting for the Crucible. I think tomorrow might be a bit of a base building day, though, because I want to be prepared. All right, we'll see you. Matt out. Peace.